Hello and welcome back to The Grindhouse. I'm Pepe Inucci, this is Will Atherton, and we are here to review the UFC back in Brazil, and this fight is Belfort versus Johnson, which I'm excited for, because Belfort is in an interesting position, because win or lose this fight, he's going to go on to um, coach on the next Ultimate Fighter series in Brazil um, against Vanderlei Silva, and then he'll fight him at the end of that. And he's also expressed uh, interest in fighting the Spider for the championship. But, you know, he's got to get through two tough opponents to um, get anywhere near that one. Um, Johnson, first time at welterweight, he's a big guy. He's usually over, well over 200 pounds. Um, but by cutting this weight down, I think he's going to be fine. And I think he's going to have improved stamina in this fight, which is he's not going to vote too well for his opponent. Um, well, Belfort, I'm excited, he's old school, I'm old school, I've been watching UFC since 93, and Belfort, the Belfort Blitz, I don't know if you ever saw that back in the day, but he's got fast hands, he's a southpaw, he's got a mean left hook, and if he blitzes down like he did against Franklin and Akiyama, you know, he can knock him out, and you know, the 34 year old with the big left hand, I'm excited for him, I really want him to win. Um, so Belfort's thing is his speed on Johnson, he's going to have it, but Johnson, Four inch reach advantage. You know, he's a rangy opponent, he's got KO power, he likes his head kicks, um, and well, like he used against Charlie Brennerman, kicked him in the head, finished him, um, and he's got good wrestling, and like he did against uh, Dan Hardy, um, you know, he out wrestled him and, and, and just dominated him. What do you think about this fight then? I'm looking forward to watching this with you because Johnson's one of my new favourite fighters as well. And I'm Hoping he runs all three about four, so that should be an interesting night to watch it. But um, yeah, I completely agree. I thought I just think Johnson, he's huge. He's absolutely he's one of those freaky guys. I think he could be a light heavyweight, no problem, and not be undersized at all. Yeah. How he used to get down to welterweight, I have no idea. I know he missed weight a couple of times, didn't he? But um, then Yushida, I think yeah, Yushida he missed weight. I think about six pounds he came. Oh right, yeah. I forgot so, yeah. Um, but yeah, but even at middleweight he's going to be massive, but he's still so fast, he's fast, he's strong, he's agile, he's, his striking's looking loads better and his wrestling's always been awesome, hasn't it? So yeah, yeah. I've got um, Johnson, I think, um, unfortunately I think it's going to be a bit of a lay and pray effort, I think it's going to be a similar to fight to Dan Hardy, he's, uh, he's stupid stand, toe to toe with I think he's going to use the strikes to set up, hopefully wait for that Belfort blitz. Yeah. And if he doesn't catch him, take him down and just control him on top. I know Belfort's black belt BJJ that has been for 50 odd years, has he? But I don't think um, he's going to struggle to tap him, so that's how I see that fight going. Yeah. 15 minute, a bit of lay and pray effort. But. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Belfort will be a little bit more uh, difficult to take down than. Hardy, yeah, for example. Yeah. Um, but Belfort's wrestling is not um, that great, and it never has been. And he's always struggled against ground and pounders, you know, yeah. and, um, guys like you know, Randy Couture. And, I mean, I know um, Johnson's not in the same league, probably wrestling wise, as Randy Couture, but you know, he's a former, former junior college champ, you know, wrestling, so you know, he's a good guy. and. If Belfort doesn't get you with the blitz, he just sit back and he waits for angles and tries to attack you that way. But Johnson, with his range, he's, he's just going to make that difficult. So I think Belfort needs to go forward and try and catch him with punches going yeah. forward. Um, what kind of odds have we got on this? Um, is they're giving it quite close, to be fair, though. I think it's going to be a good fight. Um, Victor Belfort came in as a slight favourite. I've seen it this fight. Usually you don't see an MMA much, it's more of a horse racing thing when the odds bounce around between everything, but this fight, the odds have been going crazy. It came, they came on when I first looked at it three or four weeks ago, bang on the evens, and then um, obviously people have been plying with money on Victor Belfort, so that's been dropping down. Victor Belfort's coming, he's going to go into the fight, a slight favourite now. Really? So, but at 8 to 11, so it's nearly evens anyway. So Victor Belfort, a ten is going to get 17.27, and Anthony Johnson is a little bit better than even, so that's going to get you £21 on the £10 bet. So, um, so yeah, they're giving it a close fight, definitely. So it's, that's a weird one, because yeah. I would have thought Johnson would have been the favourite, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Peter Belfort is always overestimated, in my opinion. Um, 
you know, because people remember the old blitzes he did back in the day and took people out. What people forget is sloppy and, 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 and not so great performances um, in the past. And he suffers, in my opinion, I think he gets nervous. I think the emotions and everything gets to him as an emotional guy. Um, I mean, we should look at some different odds. I mean, Vita Belfort, like I said, is a black belt jiu-jitsu. He's, he's got some decent ground game. And maybe a submission might be a saviour. I mean, what kind of odds have we got on the silver? Ten to one. That, apart from Johnson to win by submission, your best odds in the whole fight is um, Belfort by submission. Wow. So obviously that's 110 quid. You can probably get over 10 and then I would completely not believe it to that happening. But yeah. it's, it's one of the things that you see a lot is that submission doesn't necessarily mean something fancy off your back. How many times do you see a, a striker not get a clean knockout, follows them down, they give the back, rear they can choke, that happens all the time, doesn't it? You yeah. have to be a, a BJJ guy or to finish that kind of chokes. So that that's if you if you think if you're a Belfort believer, then I think that's not a bad bet. No, the submission could save him. Um, I think, you know, Johnson, a lot of the pundits are saying that Johnson's going to win, grind it out, get that decision um, and, and win that way. Um, uh, what kind of odds have we got by for a Johnson decision? That's um, where my money's going on this fight. I've got my money going down on Johnson by points. Again, I've never seen this happen on a, a method of victory thing. I don't know either the bookies are lazy with that one, or but they usually give you your odds and they don't, they don't really look at them much. But yesterday, when I started looking into the real fine details for this video, he was coming in at a bit of better than four to one to win on points. Right, okay. About 10 minutes before we're filming this, I went back on just to double check everything so I don't want to give you any wrong information. And he's dropped down to three to one already. So he's gone from a bit better than four, over four to one, down to three to one to win on points. So usually what that means, I'm almost certain what would have happened is, the people that put money on, and usually people put a lot of money on these kind of bets, and obviously they know what they're on about. So that's how the bookies usually look at that kind of thing. So people have gone on to these sides and they've been ploughing money on Johnson to win by right. decision. The bookies have gone, oh, oh, it looks like we might have made a mistake here. We've got to cut these odds down, otherwise we could lose a lot of money. So unfortunately, I usually put the bets on on the night because this has never happened. But now I'm going to have to start watching this a bit more closely. And um, hope that this doesn't happen here because I've just missed out on yeah. uh, one and a half. So what I could have had a bet on last night at four and a half to one, I'm now going to go on it. I'm going to go on now and put my money on it at three to one. Come tomorrow night, just before the fight, that could go down even more if people are still putting money on it. So, but still three to one, I think that's still a good bet. Forty quid for a tenner, that's not bad. Yeah. But, so your pick is Johnson? Johnson, by decision, I think he's going to be another Dan Hardy show. I think he'll be a little bit more excited, I don't think it's going to be a pure wrestling match, but I think he's going to tease him a little bit, wait for that opening, Belfort coming, charging him down, and I think he's just too strong. Yeah. He's going to get a take down and then just control him on top. I mean, just, just, I mean, I'm going to go for Belfort winning first round, TKO, because if he's going to win, he's going to take him out that way. Um, I'm always going to pick the old school guys, because I'm an old guy, so you know, He's the one I want to win. That's um, not bad odds. For Belfort to win by knockout, you get 7 to 4. So if you're going to do it by knockout, 10 pound each is 27.50. If you're adamant that it's going to be um, in round one, it's um, 3.5 to 1, so that would be 45 pounds. But again, the same point we were saying earlier the um, Belfort, is, um, Johnson's only been knocked out once. Right. So, um, but he's lost twice to submission. Yeah, so yeah. what could happen is if he's got a bit of a chin, could get caught, get rocked, and if he gives up a submission, I think Balfour would take it over to pound him now, you don't know, if he, if he gives his back up from strikes. So, so if I personally think if, you, if you're set on it being in the first round, I think you're better off putting money in the first round rather than by knockout. Because yeah. then you've got that submission option as well. And then if you're feeling a bit crazy, maybe put a couple of quid on into win by submission, and then that might come up a bit of a win for you yeah. come Saturday night. Okay, really can't wait for this fight. Um, we're going to do what? We're doing one more review. Yeah, one more. We've got um, Polares and Massenzio. Oh, okay. So we'll review that one next. So uh, don't forget to check that video out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our um, our YouTube site, Grindhouse Fightwear, um, where we'll bring you not just up to date reviews um, and predictions for fights, but also we've got our own um, grappling instruction and MMA instruction on there as well for techniques. So if you need a place of reference and want some videos on 
MMA orientated grappling techniques, they're on there too. Okay, let us know what you think of these videos and make sure you check us for our next review on the card. Thank you. Thank you.